It's been a very successful travel market for Barbados. I think I'm heartened by the level of activity we're seeing on the stand. And when I say that, I mean the actual trading that is taking place. I mean, you sometimes with all of the distractions, you forget that it is first and foremost a marketplace. And there are buyers and there are sellers. And of course, we have something very compelling to sell. And it's great to see the rate at which, 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 which is being taken up. So the private sector partners are all reporting uh, good business. And of course, from my own meetings with major operators and providers of airlift, etc., we are seeing increases out of the United Kingdom. And the prospects are still very good going forward. And this is important, particularly given the level of uncertainty that we have in the United Kingdom right now. I mean, apart from the pound being, uh, you know, trading a bit low, we, there's a level of uncertainty over the economic and political picture here. We've heard from the governor of the Bank of England that inflation is going to increase uh, in 2017 and again in 2018. Levels of disposable income uh, will, will, will go down for British citizens, but, but in the face of that, we are still seeing increases. And we have commitments, for example, Thomas Cook putting on flights from London Gatwick, uh, Virgin increasing its seats out of London Gatwick and Manchester, and of course British Airways putting on an extra flight this winter season. So we have 13 777s from BA a week. And um, again, that shows a lot of confidence it shows commitment of partners, of course, and we have to thank them for that level of uh, commitment. But the confidence in Barbados to deliver the goods, and I therefore have to describe this entire exercise as a successful one. There's been a definite surge in uh, patriotism and nationalism and so on in Barbados because of the 50th, and we have to leverage that going forward. Of course, immediately in 2017, we have the Caribbean's largest cultural festival, Cari Festa, that will be held in Barbados. That's taking place for the first time in Barbados since 1981. You know, a very good story, very, very um, positive development. But beyond that, at, at tourism, we have branded it the year of sports, and the sports tourism fusion, and a number of events will be held to that effect. We also have the florists having their World Flower Festival in Barbados as well in 2017. So there, there are some good events. We also have a number of world-class sailing events that will be coming to Barbados. So we have to continue to make our mark as a quality tourism destination and doing business, yes, in the UK, but also all over the world, offering tourism services to the world. And uh, we have to continue to do that.